what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in this video we're going to learn about integrating face id touch id biometrics into your application so here we have the app we'll build we'll go ahead and tap on this button and you'll notice we get prompted for face id now on the simulator there's a cool little way to actually test this so we're going to go to features face id and we will provide a valid face and boom once we authorize we see this other screen and if we go ahead and try that one more time and i say features face id non-matching face you'll see that it yells at us that it was wrong if you cancel it tells us basically to try again so we'll take a look at how to support this in your app and all that good stuff so if that all seems exciting to y'all make sure you destroy that like button before we get started if you're new to the channel make sure you hit subscribe for a daily swift and ios videos that out of the way let's open up xcode and let's talk about some biometric authentication quick pause before the video this video is brought to you by iosacademy.io if you're interested in building some of the top apps from around the world like youtube instagram uber and facebook head on over to iosacademy.io and toss in your email in the waitlist form here to be notified as content becomes available content includes interview prep free courses, premium content, how to build TikTok, Messenger, Instagram, and anything else you can think of in between. That said, let's get into the video. Let's begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project here. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS. Let's go ahead and give our project a name of biometric auth example. We wanna make sure our project language is Swift our lifecycle is UI kits and our interface is storyboard. We're gonna be working in code, so no Swift UI. So go ahead and continue, save it wherever you'd like. We'll toss it onto our desktop. And the first thing we're gonna do is expand our Xcode window, jump into our view controller.swift file. And I'm also gonna go ahead and hit the run button at the top left here to build our project and get it showing up in our simulator of choice. Now, the app we're gonna be building is fairly simple. Uh, we are going to have a button in the middle of our screen. When we tap on it, we should get uh, prompted for either touch ID or face ID auth. And if we are successful in authorizing it, we wanna go ahead and show the user a different screen, which is a different view controller. So that all said, let's go ahead and create that button. So we're just gonna create a button at the bottom of view to load here. It's gonna be a pretty, trivial button with a CG rect, we'll say 0, 0, 250. We're also going to go ahead and add this as a sub view. I'm going to center it in our view. And of course, we want to give this button a title. So we'll say, uh, let's see, we'll call it authorize for the state of normal. Of course, we want to make our button look a little nicer. So we'll go ahead and give it a background color of system green. And finally, we want something to happen when we tap on the button. So we want to go ahead and add a target of self to it with a selector of did tap button and a event of touch up inside. So we're going to go ahead and create that function right here and go ahead and hit command R to build and run your application. And you'll now see a button in the middle of your screen, just like that. So cool, when we tap on it, we should get prompted for uh, authorization. So Apple provides a framework that we're gonna use to interface with both Face ID and Touch ID called local authentication. So we're gonna start by importing it here. The first thing we wanna go ahead and do is create a context, which is a LA context, LA for local authentication. Now on a simulator, there's a way to actually test out uh, authentication, face ID and touch ID. But of course you can imagine older devices don't support either of those features. So we first wanna say here, if context uh, can evaluate a uh, policy, and there's a few different policies, there is device owner auth authentication, and then there's also uh, authentication with biometric. The difference is this bottom one down here uses touch ID and face ID whereas this one just uses your passcode. So we're gonna stick with this one. The second parameter here is a NS error pointer, which is actually uh, a error we're gonna create up above. And now we actually wanna pass it in as a uh, NS error. 
and we'll see in a minute why. Uh, this framework under the hood is actually still written in Objective C, so we want to go ahead and say and error here, passing it in as a in out parameter. Basically, if something goes wrong, the function call will put the error into uh, that error. Just write that. And let's see what's going on here. So it is saying that error used before it is initialized. Let's go ahead and assign this to be nil since it wants it explicitly. It appears and your error should go away. Let's take a look. Uh, let's see, cannot pass in immutable. So we also need to go ahead and make this error a bar. So it becomes mutable like that. So if we're not able to use touch ID or face ID, we're gonna do this. We are gonna say cannot use but if we are able to use it, we are going to say context and we want to evaluate uh, basically the policy. So we're going to say evaluate policy and we want the function that takes a uh, reason in as well as a uh, reply, which is a closure. So we're going to go with this. We are going to evaluate uh, device policy with biometric. Now reason here, this localized reason string is basically the string the user sees uh, when they are authorizing with touch ID. Now for face ID, we're going to put the string elsewhere, but let's go ahead and create a reason just like that. And we'll create that up, up above in a moment. And the reply is basically uh, nothing more than a closure for success and optionally an error if one occurs. And we're also going to go ahead and say weak self here so we don't create a memory leak. Now, before we fill in the closure there, let's go ahead and create the error here. We are going to say, rather, instead of the error, the reason here is what I meant. We are going to say, uh, please authorize with touch ID with an exclamation mark. Let's make sure we spelled that correctly. And we're passing that in to the function here. Now, what we can go ahead and do is we can say, uh, guard that success was true and that the error was nil, uh, else basically something went wrong. Uh, so basically failed right here and we will return. Uh, otherwise, we can go ahead and uh, show other screen, which is basically a uh, success. Now let's go ahead and hit command B and make sure nothing's uh, a problem here. Make sure everything is building. Now, before we go ahead and try to use this, we need to go into our info.plist. And similar to how we added a reason for touch ID, we need to add a new row here called privacy, and it is face ID usage description. You can go ahead and add it, and we are going to say, please uh, allow to continue with face ID. Go ahead and hit command S to save it. And let's come back to our view controller. Now this closure is called on the background thread. So we want to do all of this stuff on the main thread since we are going to be uh, showing a different screen, which is a user interface job. So what we'll go ahead and say in here is we will create a uh, view controller. I am going to set that view controller's title to uh, welcome. We are going to set that view controller's background color to perhaps we'll say system blue. And instead of presenting it directly, let's go ahead and present it in a navigation controller. So we'll say self uh, present. We want to present a UI navigation controller like that. And its root controller will basically be VC, which is the one we created right up above. Animated will be true and completion will be nil. Now, if anything goes wrong, we probably want to show uh, an appropriate, uh, you know, user interface. So in the case of if it's not available, let's do this one first. We are just going to show an alert controller and let's go ahead and get that autocomplete. It's going to have a title of uh, unavailable. It's going to have a message of uh, you can't use this feature and it'll have a style of alert just like that. We want to go ahead and present the alert. We want to say animated is true. And of course, we want to have a dismiss button on the alert. So I'm going to say alert, add action, UI alert action with a title of uh, dismiss, a style of cancel, and a handler of nil. Now we're going to be lazy and copy this whole thing 
And I'm also gonna drop it right here in the guard and we're just gonna change up a few of the parameters. We'll say self optional since we're in weak self. We are going to say failed to uh, authenticate. And here we will say, uh, please try again. Go ahead and hit command B to build and you hit command R to run and we should be in business. So the first thing you'll see when you tap on this is we actually see unavailable, which makes sense because we're on a simulator. However, the simulator actually, if you come up to the toolbar, there is an option, I believe it is under features. You're gonna go to face ID and you are gonna click enrolled. Now what this does is it basically simulates that you have enrolled uh, to Face ID on your device. And when you tap on this, now we get the permission. So basically it's gonna ask us to allow access. And what you'll see is we now get Face ID here. And what we can do again now is in the toolbar, if we go to features, Face ID, we can say matching face and boom, uh, we successfully were able to authorize and get into our welcome screen. Now let's try that one more time. And this time, if you go to the toolbar and hit features, face ID, you can actually say non-matching face, and you'll get this basically saying uh, not recognized. And if you cancel, you'll see our alert that we have in our uh, guard else block there, which is basically telling us that we failed and need to try again. So very, very simple to integrate, not a lot of code at all. Just to do a quick recap, we imported local authentication in our info plist. If you plan on using face ID, we added the face ID usage description. And in our view controller, we first create a LA context, a mutable NS error initialized to nil. We first check if we can evaluate the policy, AKA biometrics are supported. If not, we show a respective alert here. If they are, we go ahead and evaluate that policy passing in the reason string and the closure here will give us our success back as a bool value along with an optional error should anything go wrong. So that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. That's how you can bring local authentication into your applications. Super great feature to add. If you found this video useful and you liked it, definitely destroy the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. If you are into iOS and Swift and haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date when we release new videos. And as always, don't hesitate to comment down below with any suggestions, video topics, ideas. If you just want to say hi, love hearing from you guys. Love talking to you all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.